welcome to this vlog. It is Tuesday, October 10th, and I'm currently on a break at work right now. I am like have a big gap between patients, and so I think I'm gonna drive over to the Starbucks close to this clinic. I work in Larkspur and Nevada, which are two cities like really far north of San Francisco, and it is just feeling like such a fall day here. The sun is out, but it's like cool. I think it's in the 50s and the wind is blowing. I'll insert a little video I just took of like the very few trees here that are turning from green to red. There's just like a bunch of leaves on the ground and yeah, I'm just feeling really excited that it is feeling like fall here. So I think I'm gonna go and take my, this is my reusable cup for the day. It's just one of my like wine glasses from home. I had my smoothie in it this morning. But I think I'm gonna take this to Starbucks and get a fall beverage, like a pumpkin chai tea or something. And I'm also gonna work for just like a hot second. I have my laptop with me and I've been working on my resume and just like a meeting I have with my boss tomorrow about some stuff I wanna talk about with her. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go have just a little work moment at the nearby Starbucks. Backing up, can't believe we're already into October. But like I said, I'm just feeling so happy that it feels like autumn. And I love my new, I've talked this to death, especially in the vlog where I bought this jacket, but I just feel so happy that it's cold enough that I can wear a jacket like this, like a zip up hoodie. Something about it just makes me really happy. So anyway, off to Starbucks. And I think I'm gonna vlog the rest of this week because I'm going camping this weekend with my boyfriend, Sam and my two friends, Lucy and Christy. We're going to a campground that's like kind of close to Yosemite, which I'm really excited about because I've never been to that area of California. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna vlog as part of this work week, already Tuesday. And I hope you guys enjoy. at all because I keep wearing my scuba hoodie to work but I have my scrubs on underneath. It's morning. I'm going to work. And last night was really fun. I think I mentioned I was going to my friend Cammie's house to watch The Golden Bachelor. This was actually really good. It was very wholesome and endearing because it's like an older 
person trying to find love like later in life and the story is very sad because they lost their wife of like 20 40 years it's fun to see where my friend cami lives she lives like i live in like the middle of san francisco and she lives on like the way other side of the city so it was neat to see where her setup is because at night you can just see like this really beautiful view of the sf skyline and she has a cat and a dog who I love, Higgins and Gus. Anyway, I felt like this morning I was kind of rushing to work and I didn't think I had enough food to pack a lunch, but I found two pieces of bread and a can of tuna and I'm like, there's my protein. I made a salad, I'm ready to go. I don't know about any of you, but I kind of eat the same exact thing every day, at least Monday through Friday going to work. I always have coffee, you can't see it anymore, but I prefer iced coffee, like cold brew with oat milk creamer and then I always try to make a smoothie I just realized that today I forgot to put my protein powder in but coffee and a smoothie on my way to work and I had a protein bar after I worked out this morning and then for my lunches I always pack like a carbon copy of the same thing I try to have a salad and some form of protein today it's a tuna sandwich and then I always have a quarter cup of almonds and some salty snack and then a piece of fruit. So anyway, I don't know how I don't get bored of it, but that's what I packed for lunch. And um, it's a really beautiful sunny day. I'll show in a second, but I hope you're having a fantastic day when you're watching this. I know it's all still in the same vlog, but yeah, feeling pretty good. I feel like I'm having a really good week. And um, tonight I'm going to my friend Julia's house, who is also, Julia was at the golden bachelor watch night last night and we're gonna carve pumpkins or i think some people are gonna paint pumpkins and other people are gonna carve them so i got all my tools out all ready to go and i'm really excited that is one of my favorite traditions of fall time is to carve pumpkins so i love to do that every year but i'll turn the camera around and show you guys the morning light October 12th. I think it's like 9 a.m. in the morning. I just got to work and I feel like I look <laughs> very teary-eyed. I just had one of those mornings where I'm just feeling emotional and sometimes I almost kind of like induce crying by listening to music that just always makes me cry on the car ride to work. But it was kind of good. It felt therapeutic, so everything's fine. <laughs> um, anyway, I didn't really vlog at all yesterday, Wednesday. I worked in cardiac rehab all day, and then in the evening I went to my friend Julia's house to paint pumpkins. And I was fully convinced that I was gonna have the energy to carve a pumpkin. I had all my tools, and I just wanted to carve instead of paint. And then by the end of the day, I was just so drained. I feel like I hit a bit of like midweek exhaustion. I got home and was just like a mess. So my boyfriend and I got Thai food for dinner, and then I drove over to my friend Julie's house and I just ended up painting my nails, which is the same color I did like a little bit ago. It's like this fall wine color. So happy with how they came out, but I did not participate in the painting pumpkin ritual. Anyway, I think I'm going to end off this vlog today. I have kind of a lighter caseload in terms of patients today. I'm running the cardiopulmonary exercise tests, AKA CPETs. I'm in, um, my favorite clinic, which has all these great big windows and this really beautiful view. But tonight, my only task is to make dinner, feed myself, and pack for um, a camping trip I'm taking this weekend. I think I'm gonna go for a walk at some point today in between patients, just cause it's really sunny and just looks like a really nice day. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to be finishing up some Halloween cards that I bought forever ago, aren't they cute? And I'm also working on a presentation I'm giving at work next Wednesday on hypertension. None of you care about, but um, yeah, it feels kind of fun and exciting to like have to work on a presentation. I don't know. I don't do that often in my job. So um, yeah, that's what the day has in store, but that's all that's going on. And 
<laughs> I just feel like I look like a mess. It's just one of those days where we're just doing the best we can, you know? It is way later <laughs> and I'm headed home from work. I didn't end up going on that walk that I was intending to, but like I said, the patient load was lighter. So at the end of the day, I actually did a workout, which was really nice. Um, I haven't done that before yet, doing a workout like outside the clinic I work at. Um, but it felt good because I took that bike ride this morning. So it was like, ah, morning and evening movement. Love it. Just now I went to Trader Joe's and I'll show you guys what I got at home. Basically for this camping weekend, all of us that are going, we all picked a meal to make for everybody. And for mine, I guess I'll just tell you what I got. But I got apples for everybody. I'm doing Saturday morning breakfast. So everybody's gonna get an apple. And then I'm gonna make some breakfast burritos. And I just realized as I'm saying this that I didn't pick up tortillas. But that's okay because I'll get some at the store by our house. But I got eggs, cheddar cheese, tomatoes, and some bell peppers. And I also think I got some avocado. So that should all be good together. I'm gonna make those, wrap them in tin foil and freeze them overnight so we can take them and have them Saturday morning. And then I also got, I will show you this, the big winner is definitely gonna be the pumpkin Kringle from Trader Joe's. I've never had one before. I always think of my friend Caitlin because she loves them. Maybe she told me once to get it, but I never ended up doing that. So I'm really excited to try it. Obviously that's gonna be a hit. Um, so yeah. Saturday morning we'll do breakfast burritos, Kringle, and apples. I'm so excited. I promise I have both hands on the wheel and my eyes are on the road, but I just wanna show this part of my drive home through the Presidio. It is so beautiful and I always take it with like my windows down and my music blasting, but just look at how gorgeous this is. Like I can't believe I live here and I feel really lucky that this is part of my drive home. Like it's just kind of crazy. Um, because yeah, this is insane. today maybe today's friday the 13th maybe that's what's going on <laughs> just got to work and the sun is coming in beautifully right now i have my bike in the car with me because i'm intending to go on a bike ride on my lunch break today this is just a very honest vlog i had another good cry on the drive to work um and i feel like whenever i have like personal conflict in my life or i'm just like going through stuff it really triggers my grief sometimes um and I just felt that a lot this morning just really wanted to talk to my mom um which it is what it is and it sucks <laughs> um which I think my mom would think is funny that's what's actually going on <laughs> um last night was really productive in that I folded all my laundry and I ended up making those breakfast burritos for us to take camping this weekend. I'm pretty happy with how they came out. Um, and I also worked on my hypertension PowerPoint last night and this morning. So it's coming along. I think I'm going to finish that today. And um, there's something else I did. I can't remember. I guess I made myself dinner. <laughs> it was just vegetables and garbanzo beans. But thank you for watching. And yeah, hopefully it wasn't, you know, depressing <laughs> this um second part of the vlog but i don't know i guess it's more realistic this is a typical emotional week <laughs> i really want to get back into therapy and it's something i've been like doing some research into because i have like mental health care coverage through my job so yeah i'm really trying to find a therapist that's like in my area or that my insurance covers a lot of the cost because I just think it would be really beneficial and I just feel like I am struggling lately <laughs> to navigate certain things on my own. And I've, the times I have been in therapy, I've really appreciated having like a therapist to help me like work on some tools that, you know, help me emotionally regulate or process things or communicate with others, stuff like that. So anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'm gonna go camping this weekend and I'm so excited. Um, I don't imagine that I will document much of that, but 
I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, I know I ended off the vlog already, but just wanted to put this in at the end in case anyone made it this far and can relate to the feeling I was having earlier today. I was in a very crummy headspace. That was not good. And I feel so much better out here on my bike. I'm just like, wow, I'm glad I convinced myself to go out. I'm on my lunch break right now. And this has just totally turned my mood around. And sometimes I feel like when you're in those head spaces, it can be so hard to convince yourself to like get outside or hang out with friends or do anything that might cheer you up. But it is very worth it. I'll show you guys where I'm biking right now, but it's so beautiful. And I'm like, wow, I feel like I'm having a totally different day now that I've gotten back outside and I'm like moving and just being present. So anyway, here's this bike trail and I'll see you in the next video.